Hello everyone, I'm Juro, and here is the Juro 961111.com. And we today, I taught you about how to use the function find out the smallest number in an array. And now you can see we have a new two array called new one, new a, and new b. And there's the different number okay and if we console log a new a it will show up his array it array so we did. okay right now how to judge a number in the array is smallest is very easy it just is var first you have the concept about for loop why because we need to keep finding keep finding every single number we can in this array so if 10,000 times it will spend you too much time therefore we use for loop automatically automatically have us to find out the smallest number and in this function we will put the arguments called array so you can see function minimize array so in the future when we reuse this function we just put the variable name uh, variable name into the array this arg arguments a uh, space Console look here and it will apply the array and calculate the smallest number. And in the inside of the minimize function, as you can see, we make a variable a equal to array position zero, which means this a up representative represent the first position in this array and the first in array we call zero and the second will be the one okay now we got the variable a and we want to plug in the for loop and why we want to make a variable a outside of the loop because every time for loop inside they are calculating things they will refresh the variable so which means in the for loop the v are not the first time the v might be 10 the second time the v will change become 20 so the me the b will not be the older b so the b is not is changeable that's why we variable the meaning so we want to keep our number so we have to put the variable outside of for loop for loop otherwise it will be replace its value and we define a for loop this is the basic thing. We need to define a variable i in this first space and equal to 1. And uh, why 1? Because we already find the, the first position 0 in this area a, variable a. So the second number will be in position 1. And similarly, I small array dot length and what mean dot length the dot length the, this method is to help you to determine the arrays how many space what mean how many space in how many position like 1 2 3 4 5 11 it had 11 position it could be this this thing will become the number that the array become a number this is the meaning of this. So what it say will be 
So for example, if we plug in the new A array, this length will be 11. So we will start by second position, the, 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 the second position called 1. And the third will be re-aided, re called I increment I plus plus. This means it will repeat, it repeat itself and edit itself. <clears throat> so, for, uh, and what I mean is mean one i is one because it small the array length, so it will a y i and i, so it will be two. So next will be two. I will be two and uh, 2 plus 1 will be 3, 3 will be 4, 5, 6, 7, until 10, because 10 is smaller than 11. And in this for loop, we will use variable b equal to array, quote i, and y is i, because the number will change by the for loop. The position will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. So let's B will represent the different number in this array. And that's why, what, how can you imagine it? You can imagine we pick up the ball, and then a ball, every ball has the number and the value in this ball, such as right now I pick the ball from the 11 array, the pools. And we we'll take the second one and compare which one is smaller. If that's the if and else. If the second one I pick up smaller than the first one I pick up, we point the v b value to the a. So the a value will be replaced in here become a. The small value, so it will no longer exist in here. It will be the number which appointed by the v, and the final one will return the a because we want to know the final answer. If we don't return the a value. This function will on one note what we want. We want the value a. That's why we return it. And we console log this minimize functions and put the arguments any array in this space. We will find out the smallest number. For example, we'll change to one. I'll play and run again. Will be a one. So this for loop will run ten times to find out which one is smaller. If it smaller than the other, and the smaller number will be keep will keep the smaller number. So you can imagine you have a ten ball in the pool. You pick one of the ball. And pick another one of the ball, ball. Compare, you find out the first ball you take is smaller than second one. And this will not equal to this if statement. That's why it, it will not, the value A will not replace by the B. So you keep this ball, you keep the first ball. And you put the second ball back to the pool. Uh, aside, aside, uh, aside here, aside the variable v. And you, 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 with aside, and you take the third one and compare, compare, compare until. You find out a small one, and that's what we've done here. 
And if you have any question on us, then please you can make a comment, and I will try to explain more detail to you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. I'm Bonjour. Bye bye.